What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Did my fasted cardio this morning, washed my hair, put my face on because I have a big day today so I like to get dressed and put makeup on to get as productive as possible and just it makes me feel less lazy and sleepy. Again, it, in the winter gloomy weather, I do find myself being a little bit lazier than normal. So I need to find things to sort of like motivate myself. So I find that when I get dressed, put my makeup on, I feel like I'm in the mood to be productive. And that's why I'm picking the camera up and um, yeah, just taking you along my day today. I got a fat increase yesterday, so I'm just about to make breakfast. I already took my morning sups and um, I'm so excited because I'm gonna have some avocado toast. This is turkey bacon, which I got from Costco. It actually ran out for a period of time and I'm so excited that it's back in stock. Absolutely love this and you can only get it from Costco. And egg whites. And I got my sourdough toast toasting in the oven. I'm so excited for today's breakfast. After five weeks of only increasing carbs, I'm so excited to finally get a fat increase. And the first thing that I did was I went to buy avocado, so I don't know, when I'm on prep, because my um, fats are really low, all I crave is like whole eggs, bacon, avocado, and salmon. Like I just crave, I don't like, and like pork belly, just like fatty pork, pork ribs. I just crave like fatty stuff. And yeah, like I really crave avocado and I love avocado toast. So I bought an avocado yesterday and like it's feeling a little bit hard and I'm gonna be so devastated if I cut into this and it's just like not ready yet. So we'll see how it goes. So yeah, with avocados, the annoying thing is it's either like overly ripe and then it's like super soft and it's like mushy and brown or it's like hard as a rock, so. It looks pretty, but it's a little bit underripe for my liking. I like it a little bit softer, so I'm a little bit disappointed, but I mean, it's better than it being bad, so I'm just gonna give this a go. I think I'm gonna have about 35 grams, so I do weigh it out. Um, I'm gonna put that on my toast. When it's hard, you can't really like spread it nicely on the toast, which is like a little bit annoying. <sighs> Hopefully it tastes good. So I'm just like using my knife and kind of like smashing it down at the moment. And then I'm gonna season it as well. All right, this is the best I managed to do with regards to smashing it. I think it's not too bad, it's not too bad. So I have 40 grams of avocado there, two pieces of turkey bacon and half a cup of egg whites. And I'm just gonna be seasoning this with salt, pepper, and my favorite is I'll either put lime or lemon, but today I'm feeling Tabasco sauce. So I love putting Tabasco sauce on my avocado toast and that's just how I like to eat it. Massive <laughs> Tabasco sauce, which I got from Costco. really tired it's like nine o'clock and I feel like I've done a lot like clean my kitchen obviously really got my cardio this morning done showered ate my breakfast um, I replied some emails just then and it's only nine so I think I overtired myself but we have trained legs today's a big leg session I'm really excited, but I'm also really tired. So I'm just hoping a little bit of that pre-workout in and I'll be feeling much better, ready to smash my leg workout. I have like 10 sets of hip thrusts today. I'm absolutely loving doing hip thrusts on my Smith machine. It's 
so good I, I hated having to set up the bar for hip thrusts when I was training at the gym so that is one thing I absolutely love about my home setup is um, yeah my little Smith machine so that is my favorite exercise on the program there's heaps of other exercises it is a very high volume workout so I'm about to go take my pre-workout some pump powder I'm feeling that today and then, um, yeah, time to hit a leg session. Oh my God. I woke up like fully thinking I was supposed to train legs today and I was so excited and all geared up for a leg session. And then I just checked my program and it's shoulder and back day. So lucky I didn't overly eat too much carbs this morning trying to carb up for my leg session. But anyways, um, yeah, we're hitting shoulders and back today. I'm in my little home gym. We've added so much to it. And we may or may not be getting a leg press. I don't know, Jeremy's trying to score one. So we'll see how it goes. It's kind of a little bit cold. So the best thing about my little home gym is the fact that I have a heater and um, I can train with the heater on because if you've been watching my channel for long enough, you know that I don't like it when it's cold. I love summer, I love warm weather, and um, I'm just absolutely miserable when it's cold. So, I have my little heater going, it's nice and warm. I open the garage a little bit, just for like a little bit of like fresh air, and I'm ready to hit a back session, back and shoulders today. So, I may or may not film it, um, we'll see. I also have someone coming to pick up one of the racks that we're selling, so, um, not sure how I feel about a random coming to my house. When I'm alone, so if I do not return, um, you'll know what happened to me. <laughs> amazing workout and now I'm about to down my post-workout meal real quick and then I have clients to train today so I'm super excited about that I'm only doing two so I just got those a bunch of um, laptop stuff to do and I really need to clean my house so 
don't know how much of that I will show you, but um, on a mission to clean my house today, that would be good for me. Help me move around, get my steps in so I'm not sitting on the couch. Because even when I'm working on my laptop, which I have been for the last few weeks, I just like sit there and I don't move. And then when I want to relax, like I watch videos and shows and I'm just like sitting a lot more than I normally am. So I'm really excited to get back into training clients. And even though um, it's a small space, so I don't walk around as much, um, it'll just be good to just get me moving. But also, I'm going to clean the house today. Right now, I'm going to eat my post-workout meal, and I'm super excited about it. This is my post-workout meal right now. You all know I freaking love my fish. So, <laughs> we got brown Monday fish. We got brown rice today. A little bit of slaw on the side. And this, if you are Singaporean, you will know is nasi lemak sambal. My mom made it for me. No, I do not know the macros. And since it's off-season, I'm not tracking the sauce. So... That's going in there for some flavor. Everything else is tracked in my macros today. It's burger time. So I'm gonna be having some homemade burgers, which I haven't yet made. So I thought I will show you how I make them. But before I make them, I'm going to put my sweet potato wedges in the air fryer because they do take a while. So I'm gonna pop them in there so they can get cooking whilst I get my burgers ready. So I make my own homemade smash burger patties and they're so good, so macro friendly. I use super lean heart smart beef. So only 5% fat, super lean heart smart beef mints. This is a 500 gram portion. So I'm gonna make each patty 100 grams, so it's super accurately measured, um, and we're gonna get five patties out of these. What I'm gonna season it with today is this seasoning from McCormick. It's like a Middle Eastern kind of flavor, and I'm absolutely obsessed with like spices and Middle Eastern kind of flavors. I love it. So this is what I'm gonna use. It coats exactly 500 grams of protein, so it's perfect. I'm gonna use the whole packet. There are four servings in each packet, and as you can see, it's literally only 1.8 carb per serving, 17 calories, and so much flavor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to that, and then roll them into little balls. Putting them in the mix. I'm just mixing up the seasoning with the beef right now. So I'm gonna season the beef first before I roll them into balls. So now that's all mixed up and ready to be rolled into balls. So I rolled them into little balls like that. And what I do is I pop them onto the pan and make sure it's just um, like a bowl still and I let it kind of cook this way and then I will smash it down once the bottom is kind of cooked. Smash it down like this. Whilst the patties are cooking, I just weighed and cut up some of um, the things I want to put in my burger. So I just have some onion here. These are actually like pre-cooked frozen onions. And then I have some fresh capsicum. So once the patties are done, I'm just going to cook these on the pan. And then I'm going to um, pop them into my burger later. So this is the bread I'll be using for the burger bun. And then I just want to show you what I'm using for my sweet potato fries. So it's just this brand. It's super macro friendly and not a lot of fat at all, which is the main thing I always look out for. And I got it from Costco. So yeah, big bag like that, sweet potato wedges. All I do is pop them in the air fryer, so that's super easy as well. Just toasted my bread rolls. 
And so now I'm ready to assemble my burger. On the bottom, I'm gonna put the onions and the capsicum. That down the bottom, and I'm gonna do some barbecue sauce. This is the barbecue sauce that I use, it is reduced sugar by Fountain. Pop that on, and then place my burger patty on top of that. And then I'm gonna do a round of chili, hot chili. I just Master Foods hot chili sauce, so that's the one that I'm using. And then a little bit of lettuce on the top. I don't put too much lettuce because it just always falls out everywhere and it gets really messy and I don't like my burgers too messy, so just put a little bit just for a little bit of freshness and crunch. My chips are now ready, so I'm just gonna pop the sweet potato wedges on the side. Mm. And then I'm just gonna put some chicken salt on there and we are all done. Finishing touches. All right, and I'm gonna go eat this now. It all set up now. Oh my god! Look at this. Yeah, jump on. Yeah, I didn't have shoes on. <laughs> okay. Well, really hit the glutes and hamstrings. Do we even have enough weights for you? I don't know if this is the right color. Um, I think red fits ah, in perfectly good. with the rest I'm of our good. very black gym. Get no. Alright, so to me, I feel like our gym is pretty much complete. Yeah. What else do you want to buy? I don't know. I don't see. <laughs> it's never complete. You took weights here, so. Oh, that's good. That frees up a lot of space. Yeah. Kind of weird there. that it's like not even though. Why is it like one higher I than the other? No idea what it is. That's really weird. Anyways, I'm so excited to train legs I'll tomorrow. Buy I'll buy 25 kilo ones. Yeah. So. so yeah. I always feel so useless and lazy whenever like new equipment comes because I cannot lift or help out in any way so I just stand there and try to look helpful but don't actually help <laughs> so I've literally contributed no manpower to the building of the leg press whatsoever but I will contribute my money so I think that is my half done. Anyways, thank you for watching my vlog today. I will see you in the next one.